I'm bringing you guys my second game against a worthy opponent. He is 11 and 3. He has a huge advantage over me. He's probably been playing the game a lot. <laughs> this is literally my second game since the game came out last Friday. So in about one week, I've only played twice. This is the second game. So I am definitely not familiar with the game yet. My opponent has a lot of experience. Shea gets into the paint. And that's our first bucket of game two. On the other hand, my opponent is just cooking me. He is making the right reads. Making open threes. And Inobi is going to take a huge hop step drive there. That looks like prime Derrick Rose when he did that hop step move. What I've noticed so far in the two games that I've played is that players that shouldn't be good at driving the ball are really good at driving the ball. <laughs> and right there, Hardenstein was wide open under the basket, but I did an icon pass and it passes to the wrong person. And I missed a wide open mid range on top of it. Jalen Brunson is cooking. So some of these clips I'm showing because the very first few games on 2K is always a learning experience. I've said this many times on my previous videos. And he greens another three. <laughs> we are down by 11. We only have three points. And the first quarter is almost down. Finally, we get our second basket. Caruso, that was supposed to be a layup, but he stopped right on top of the key, or should I say on the side of the key, and pulled up. And Brunson, we finally get a stop in the paint, which is extremely rare on this game. Because from the two games that I've played, when they're driving into the paint, it's really hard to stop. Stop them from scoring. As you can see right here, that was a tough layup, and he still made it. <laughs> and I think that was with Ananobi also. We're trying to play for the last shot. Shea with the pull up three. I'm really excited when I play a lot more games like my opponent has so I can green a lot more consistently. Because right now we are missing open looks. We could have been in the lead. Shea with the drive. And we are down by only three points despite the rough start. We're getting into the paint. I kick it out, a wide open three. That's what I'm talking about. Missing open looks while my opponent is just smashing the paint. I'm getting into the paint. So that's one, one thing I should do more. That I should keep driving it into the paint, especially with Shea and other slashers. Because I'm always getting good results when I drive it into the paint. Watch this right here. What is this? Mikhail Bridges with some Kyrie acrobatics look at this plus i bumped him i stopped his momentum and he still did a rajon rondo into a Kyrie type layup over my center <laughs> that's one thing i noticed in this game players that are not supposed to be doing things like that are doing crazy things in the paint and this right here my help defense left his center wide open i don't know why they do that Caruso misses a wide open three. One thing I noticed compared to last year is that the shots are extremely fast. On 2K24, you'd have to hold the shot button a little bit longer on this game. All of my misses are slightly late because I'm still used to 2K24. I'm not used to this new, the new shooting system basically. Or should I say how they revamped it. So as you can notice, most of my baskets are when I, you know, get into the paint, which is not what I've been doing this game. Because I'm still used to 2K24. <laughs> and another slightly late, wide open miss. He's going to get an alley-oop, but Hartenstein with the one-handed snatch steal. That was a great defensive play. Caruso, that should have been a three-point shot. I don't know why he took one foot inside the three. And he gets into the paint right here. He gets fouled. And is back to a seven point game. Shea with a wide open look. Slightly once again. 
So that's thing. That's one thing I learned about this specific game is that shooting is extremely fast. And the second thing I learned is I gotta keep driving it into the paint. Another wide open miss. I shot it with that guy because he looks like Clay Thompson. <laughs> the headband and everything. I'm driving into the paint right here. I wait for him to jump. Shea gets a layup and he calls a timeout to stop my momentum. So we get a great stop right here. And we get an opportunity to cut into the lead. Great ball movement off the semi-fast break. Caruso on top. And we miss again. That's rough. We got to capitalize on those. Especially in the fourth quarter. And he gets into the paint with Jalen Brunson. I'm right there. As you can see, the coverage is tight. I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> what more can I do than play than beat him to the spot? Again, right here. Another tight coverage. And he makes a tough floater. But hey, it is Jalen Brunson. That is what he does. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. My opponent is just daring me to shoot. As you can see, all my misses are slightly late. He knows it's my second game. <laughs> so the difference, he was attacking the paint. I was missing threes. Definitely got the experience. We're going to try to adjust for future games. This was a great learning experience. 